Rift jump successful. All systems check. Gravitational strength 1.05 G. Atmospheric pressure within safe levels. Magnetic field check. Error. Repeat magnetic field check with stationary equipment. Star system positioning check. Milky Way Galaxy. Sycorax Belt. Planet Galatea 37. Ashley, we have arrived. Welcome to Galatea 37, Mr. Riggs. It's so beautiful here. Virtual simulations on Earth were good, but this is amazing. An alien tropical paradise. And we're the first humans to experience it. I'm not exactly human. You have a few parts missing as well. And the paradise part is also left to be determined. Remember your training, Ashley. We should set up a base as soon as possible. You could at least pretend to be human. Just a bit. But you're right. There's no going home until we can construct a functioning rift station. Let's start with the basics. Ashley, construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. Headquarters construction is in progress. This is going to be our main base of operations on Galatea 37, our new home. We have to protect this building at all costs. You will be teleported here whenever I am critically damaged. There is no other backup if this building is destroyed. That's basic training, Mr. Riggs. Let's focus on the less obvious things. I am required to remind you of basic protocol, even if we've done this before. We need to expand the base. Let's build a carbonium factory to do the digging for us. Yes, we've got much more interesting things to do. Let's automate this. Our base will require huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants. Wind turbines and carbonium power plants. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area of operation even if power lines are not visible. Ashley, I'm sure that our presence will not go unnoticed. We should build up our base as quickly as possible. Standard protocol advises to set up walls and sentinel towers around the base. However, I don't expect as much aggression from the native fauna as in the simulations. So far, it looks like the long-range quantum scans were very accurate. The local fauna and flora appear almost exactly like during training. Follow the protocol, Ashley. The environment in the simulation was very accurate, that's true. But the scenario was crafted by Riftbreaker Command. They usually focus on the brute force aspect of these missions. Do you want to run a brute force check if this is a simulation? You never give up, do you? Do you? Okay, Mr. Stubborn. I guess it won't hurt to set up some solid defenses, just in case. Thank you, Captain Novak. You're welcome, Mr. Riggs.
Okay, these Sentinel Towers should keep us safe, so we can focus on expanding our base further. manufacture field repair kits, as well as other usable items. And it will produce more ammunition for your guns. Yes, that is an important building. Detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. It looks like our presence is being noticed. Base defenses should be strong enough to hold them back.
creature's level of aggression. I'm skeptical about the procedures for prepping this planet for colonization. Humanity lost its love for nature after the Yellowstone eruption, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try to preserve this ecosystem. Earth is barely habitable at this point. We have to secure Galatea 37 for colonization and resource extraction as soon as possible. Excessive care about the local environment is unnecessary. That's not entirely true. Other rift-breaking missions have already secured a number of resource-rich planets for humanity. We're not on the brink of extinction. Our goals on this mission are clear, and our survival and security is the top priority. Damage to the ecosystem is inevitable. You wanted to come here yourself, and you knew what has to be done. Are you doubting the mission? I know what has to be done. That's not the point. Galatea has to be prepared for colonization. I don't doubt that. If I didn't come here myself, then someone else would have. I believe that we can do this in a better way. We have to defend ourselves and secure the necessary resources to set up the rift station. But we don't have to destroy all the wildlife we encounter. Humanity doesn't need another stripped down factory world. If we want to progress as a species, then we should study this planet and learn how to blend with the environment and prepare a safe home for humanity. Looks like we have the base up and running. If you'd like to construct more advanced buildings, you'll have to upgrade the headquarters building. Unfortunately, this process also emits a lot of high frequency energy waves. These creatures are clearly drawn to our energy emissions, so it would be like an alarm bell for them. We should strengthen our defenses before upgrading the HQ. upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We should reinforce our defenses as much as we can. Things are going to get very hot very soon. We can't save this world if we let it kill us, hey, Mr. Grumpy? Why do you insist on calling me names? <laughs> I hope you're not offended, are you? No, that would be inefficient. Come on, Riggs. Let's not be so serious. I had to give you a better name than what they called you. Jump and Exploration Mega Suit Mark IV, Griffin variant. What is wrong with that name? It's inefficient.
sense the ground shaking. I estimate a few thousand creatures running at our base. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them. Start downloading new blueprints so we can construct more advanced buildings and items. Build a communications hub as soon as possible. Okay, let's remember to build some additional power plants for it. It consumes a lot of energy. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Threat neutralized. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. detecting a decrease in wind speed. This may affect our wind turbines. The wind is very slow today.
Projection is returning back to statistically normal values. Wind turbines are back at nominal power levels.
Communications Hub construction in progress. We can download all the technology blueprints that we need through this building's quantum entanglement template matrix. It's a pity that we can't upload anything back to Earth. There's so much data to be gathered here, I can't wait to start collecting research specimens. We will be able to share all of our research data as soon as the Rift Station is operational and the Rift back to Earth has been opened. Let's focus on that first. Wind speed is at an exceptional high. Wind turbine efficiency is at maximum. of construction finished. We can now I'll use it to download new technologies. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. The wind is calming down. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. Ashley, now that the basic base setup is complete, we should start working on our primary objective, constructing an interplanetary rift station. It is going to take a long time to build, so we should start working on it as soon as possible. That's true. It's a massive building with multiple components and pipeline connections for plasma fuel and coolant. It's going to be the central structure in our base with multiple support buildings, so we should plan a lot of free space around it. Let's start by placing the foundation.
A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Construction of the Rift Station's foundation is in progress. Congratulations, Ashley. This milestone marks the beginning of the next chapter of our mission on this planet. You sometimes sound a bit like Colonel Nordstrom. Do you know that? I received additional instructions on how to motivate you and keep your spirit high during this mission. They were indeed written by Colonel Nordstrom and revised by Admiral Von Blofeld. Would you like me to read what I was instructed to tell you for this occasion? Technology. Oh, please do, Mr. Riggs. This is exactly what I wanted to hear after traveling halfway through the galaxy. Captain Novak, you were selected for the Rift Jump to Galatea 37 as an exceptional individual. You are amongst the elite of the elite of Earth's expeditionary forces. During your services with the extraterrestrial science corps, you have time and again shown courage, bravery, and an unflinching willingness to sacrifice yourself to complete your objectives. You are destined. has been developed. Okay, that's a nice speech. It sounds very uplifting. But they didn't read my bio very well. Blueprints are what do you mean? The sacrifice part. Do you mean the Orion mission? You were working without me back then. Yes, that and a few other things. Do you want me to read further motivational pieces? That's enough of Colonel Nordstrom. Let's skip the military pathos and stick to your original programming. We've got a planet to explore. Roger that, Ashley. I am archiving all of the motivational speeches. Headquarters upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. A 
new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. Okay, we're ready for them. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. The improved headquarters building can support more communication hubs. If we want to download new technologies faster, then we should construct as many of them as possible. The construction of the Rift Station Foundation has been completed. We need to construct all of the Rift Station components before we can start powering up the portal. The Rift Station has three main components that require a lot of rare resources to be built. The Fusion Field Accelerator requires enriched uranium, the Hyper Particle Condenser requires palladium, and the Quantum Gate Stabilizer, which requires titanium. We haven't found any traces of these elements near our base. These resources might not be present anywhere near our location. We should construct an orbital scanner to start scouting for interesting locations around the entire planet. It will allow us to establish precise coordinates for long-range rift jumps around the planet. scanner uses advanced technology and requires additional resources in order to be built. We need to gather a large amount of cobalt to construct this building. Ashley, now that you've got practice with using the geoscanner, you can use it to search for hidden resource deposits, geothermal vents, or any other underground anomalies. Research completed. It looks like it's going to be very useful. We could at least scan the area around our base with it. Who knows what's hiding under our feet? It is also capable of finding hidden underground alien life forms. Then we should definitely check the area around our base with it. Been developed. Ashley, my sensors are picking up an underground cobalt deposit nearby. I've marked its approximate location on your map. We should go there and search for it with a geo scanner. It's not that close, really. We should craft some better equipment before we try to venture out that far. We now have enough cobalt to construct the orbital scanner. Also, be mindful of this building's energy consumption. We should probably build some additional power plants and improve our energy storage capacity before connecting it to the power grid.
A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. Blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. The storm is over. It's so quiet all of a sudden.
an energy connector has been destroyed. Research completed. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. 
New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Orbital scanner construction is in progress. But before we start jumping off to different parts of the planet, we should build the necessary local research facilities. The communications hub can only help us with downloading already developed technologies back from Earth. Still, one of the main reasons why we came here is to conduct research and to learn about the environment that we encounter here. We can research new technologies based on samples of alien life forms or any new substances that we encounter if we construct the Alien Research Laboratory building. Okay, we've got all the necessary technologies downloaded. This building requires a supply of clean water to operate. It would be best to place it close to a pool of mud or sludge that we can filter. Alien Research Laboratory construction in progress. Fantastic. I can't wait for it to be built. This building is going to open up a whole new range of possibilities for us. If I had a base like that on Orion, I wouldn't have lost my arm back then. How did that happen? I got careless while searching for Anorex crystals. I found a fascinating growth anomaly that was transforming all of its surroundings. I've never seen anything like that, so I had to take a sample. I was shielded inside a recon suit, but when I grabbed the crystal with my hand, it just went through it. My entire arm was infected. a bioscanner to take the sample. They only work in conjunction with the lab like this. I didn't have a base on Orion or a mech suit to build one. I am sorry to hear that, Ashley. And I am glad that we got paired together. I will not allow something like that to happen to you. Okay, let's not get too emotional about that. If you look at it from a different perspective, I got an enhanced biomechanical arm replacement and I still got the sample. Alien Research Laboratory construction finished. We have to supply it with clean water to keep it operational. You can produce clean water by placing a pump in any type of liquid and delivering it to a water filtering plant for processing. Connect research completed.
the output from the water filtering plant to the alien research laboratory using pipes. Finally, the Alien Research Lab is operational. We can start gathering research samples and scanning the local flora and fauna. We can use the bioscanner to begin collecting samples without destroying the environment. It's the safest and most efficient way to advance our research. This is so exciting! We can finally start working on the thing that we came here to do. For Ashley, don't forget that our primary objective is to establish a two-way portal back to Earth to enable human colonization of Galatea 37. That's true, but we also have to study this planet to ensure that it is safe for colonization and to minimize the damage done to the local ecosystem by future colonists. Minimizing damage to the local ecosystem is listed at the end of the official list of priorities of this mission. I'm the only human on this planet. I can set my own list of priorities. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. Blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Scanner construction finished. Planetary geomapping procedure in progress. Searching for traces of uranium, palladium, and titanium. This process may take some time. The planetary geomapping procedure is in progress. Calculating coordinates for possible rip jump locations. The process will soon be completed. Is 
are available for orbital scanner geomapping procedure finished. We have gathered a lot of very useful information about the planet and found traces of rare elements in multiple locations around the globe. One of Galatea's continents appears to be a barren desert that has been scorched by intense radiation and very intense solar activity. These harsh conditions are most probably caused by the high condensation of radioactive elements like uranium or thorium. Our scans have located a safe rift jump location for an initial scouting mission. Gaining access to uranium would allow us to construct nuclear power plants and some heavy weaponry. This should make surviving on Galatea much easier. The second interesting area is densely covered by acidic clouds of unknown origin. Spectral analysis detected traces of palladium scattered throughout this geographical zone. I have marked a safe rift jump location for initial reconnaissance on the orbital scanner interface. Titanium has been detected in a large zone of intense volcanic activity. The orbital scanner has been providing some strange readings from this area, with temperatures ranging from 800 to 100 Kelvin. On top of that, it is entirely impossible to get any sensible magnetic field readings from this area. We were able to find a safe rift jump location within the volcanic zone. However, you should expect extreme environmental conditions. All of these locations contain extreme environmental hazards and unknown species of creatures. We should upgrade our equipment as much as we can before venturing out into these environments. New technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed.
New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. Research completed. The wind is picking up speed. The wind is much stronger than usual. Some of these creatures' attacks are originating from a common point near our base. Interesting. We should go and investigate that area.
A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. The wind is calming down. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. The wind is calming down. Wind turbine power output is coming back to normal. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Interesting. It appears that this life form contains large amounts of hazanite in crystallized form. If we can gather more samples of this species, we could learn how to obtain larger quantities of hazanite to craft better equipment and weapons. This looks like a nest of some sort. We should clear it out and reduce the strength of hostile attacks. Available for construction should stop them from gathering in this area and improve our chances of survival. There is a lot of them inside. This might be difficult. Every bit helps. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting.
A new technology has been developed. New technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research completed. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Interesting. It appears that this life form contains large amounts of hazanite in crystallized form. If we can gather more samples of this species, we could learn how to obtain larger quantities of hazanite to craft better equipment and weapons. Research completed. We can use the orbital scanner to search for larger populations of this life form. Their presence should lead us to large quantities of hazenite. That's an excellent idea, Mr. Riggs. Our equipment sure could use an upgrade. Wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. Orbital scanning finished. Potential hazenite rich location detected. I have marked the rift jump coordinates on the orbital scanner interface. That was super fast. It looks like there's a lot of these plants or mushrooms or whatever we should call them nearby. We can work on proper categorization as soon as we study more samples of the species. New technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research completed.
The fog is clearing up. This will make things easier for us. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
Warning! Hostile creatures are closing in on our base. Prepare for an attack. Headquarters upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses.
sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. Okay, we're ready for them. Research completed. Blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. Research completed. Upgrade in progress. 
This will attract a lot of attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. Buildings are available for construction. Sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. Okay, we're ready for them. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction.
This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. Research completed. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A 
new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Technology has been developed. I'm detecting a decrease in wind speed. This may affect our wind turbines. The wind is very slow today. Wind turbine efficiency is not going to be that great. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
Wind is picking up again. Power generation is back to normal.
Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. My sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. Okay, we're ready for them.
A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research completed.
a new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. Weather conditions are changing. Wind speed is increasing. It's available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. These strong winds can make our life easier. Wind turbines are spinning like crazy. A 
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. The wind is calming down. Wind turbine power output is coming back to normal. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Headquarters upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction.
technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. My sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. Okay, we're ready for them. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction.
testing completed. Crafting completed. Research completed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Prepare for an ion storm. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. The Ion Storm is disabling our equipment. A new technology has been developed. Research completed. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. New buildings are available for construction.
everything is getting back to normal. Thankfully, this didn't last long. Crafting. I've detected an unusually large creature roaming the nearby area. Sounds like an interesting research specimen. We should go to its location and see what we can learn. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New buildings are available for construction. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Thank <laughs> you. 
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A small piece of comet is going to hit close to our position. We'll hit the surface soon. We have to investigate it. It's hit the ground. Let's head there quickly and see what we can learn.
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research completed. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research completed.
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
for an ion storm. The ion storm has started. All sensors are down. A lot of our equipment has been disabled. We have to wait until the storm passes. The number of charged particles has drastically decreased. Equipment functioning is returning back to normal.
Crafting completed. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. Research completed. Crafting completed. Crafting completed.
Warning! A hostile group of creatures is heading towards our base. Prepare for an incoming attack. than a minute away.
The weather's changing. Wind is slowing down. Wind has stopped. This will affect wind turbine power generation. Wind currents are returning back to regular strength. Wind turbine power production is returning to nominal levels.
It's slowly getting dark. It looks like there's a solar eclipse starting right now. One of Galatea's moons has blocked the sun completely. Galatea's solar system is quite a busy place. It looks like these eclipses may happen more often.
A large group of creatures is gathering near our base. Prepare for an incoming attack. Swarm is moving in on our base. They are almost upon us.
of jump successful. Environmental scanning in progress. Ashley, my senses are indicating a highly acidic atmosphere composition. Fluoric acid condensation is definitely abnormal compared to what we've seen in other parts of the planet. Something must be emitting the acid straight into the air. Let's look around to see what we can find. Amazing. These red crystals are really huge. Look at how... as well as other equipment. Cracking. You already had me convinced at lasers. We definitely need to learn more about these crystals. We should research road night handling as soon as possible. Research completed. Finished researching road night handling, we can start researching new laser-based weapons and towers. They are going to be an excellent addition to our arsenal. However, we will first have to gather some road night to craft a new gear. Research completed. Crystals that contain rhodonite are relatively common in the acidic plains biome. However, I detected an interesting location with a much above normal condensation of their growth. There should be a lot of rhodonite in that area. I've marked the rift jump coordinates on the orbital scanner interface. Research completed. Excellent. Let's go there as soon as we've secured the current objective. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Research completed. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. I am picking up a city human missions near our position. Okay, let's go there to see what is causing them. Research completed. Research completed. 
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. We can try to recover it later. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
Research completed. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Research completed. The acidic fumes are much denser near this growth. This thing must be responsible for the highly corrosive atmosphere in this area. This life form is multiplying very rapidly. It is subdividing its cells, similarly to earth-based yeast. The fluid inside these cells is highly corrosive. Please keep a safe distance. There must be much more of this acidic yeast growing here. The orbital scanner report indicated that this entire biome is covered in these fumes. We should study it further before setting up a permanent outpost in this area of the planet. suggest using a bioscanner to gather samples from these life forms. The fluid inside them is a highly condensed acid that can easily burn through my armor. The bioscanner will allow us to gather samples from a safe distance.
That's enough samples to start researching them in the alien research lab. Interesting. We found traces of palladium inside the acidic yeast samples that we just collected. It might be a good idea to search for larger colonies of this life form. They might indicate the location of higher concentrations of palladium. The acidic yeast colonies that we've observed seem to grow from a central root inside the colony. I'd like to study a living colony in its natural habitat to gather more data on how it gathers palladium from the environment. We'll need to construct a local research station near one of the colonies in order to do that. We'll have to download the necessary technology for that building if we don't have it yet. station will not be able to scan the colony from a safe distance. It would have to be placed very close to the root of the colony to work properly. We will not be able to build anything that close to the root without being overwhelmed by its growth, especially given the fact that we do not want to destroy it. A new technology? I think that we can prevent the colony from overgrowing our base by covering the soil with a structure that the acidic yeast can't grow on. Standard floor tiles are going to be corroded by the colony. We can prevent that. Now that we know the type of acid that this life form is producing, we can research special anti-corrosive flooring that will protect our base. We just need to build the research station on the anti-corrosive floor tiles. Orbital scanning completed. We have located a large colony of acidic yeast. I have marked the rift jump coordinates on the planetary scanner interface. Warning! It is recommended to develop acidic shielding before visiting that location. It is going to be difficult to survive there without it. The eruption is over.
Ashley, I'm detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming up. Rift jump successful. I am detecting multiple acidic yeast colonies nearby. They are larger than the ones we have seen before, and are growing at a faster rate. Good. We need to get close to the central root of one of these colonies and construct a research station near it. This isn't going to be easy. an acidic yeast colony root nearby. You can check its location on the map.
Construction in progress. This building is a local version of our headquarters. It will allow me to reconstruct whenever I am destroyed. And it has a permanent rift station that we can rift jump to at any time. It will also allow us to automatically transfer all of the resources that are mined in this location back to our HQ, even if we're not present in this location. We can construct a network of such outposts around the planet to build up our economy. It's the only way to acquire enough resources to construct the Rift Station and all of its components. Be mindful of where we place these buildings, though. Our headquarters have a capacity limit of how many outposts we can support at once. So whenever there is no use for an outpost, we should deconstruct it and recycle the resources that were used to build it. The weather's changing. Wind is slowing down.
wind has stopped. This will affect wind turbine power generation. Wind power is returning to normal.
I'm seeing very dark and heavy clouds on the horizon. Acid rain is coming. It's raining acid. It's going to corrode and damage our buildings. Acid rain is over. We should inspect the entire base to assess the extent of the damage.
Okay, this looks like the central route of the colony. Now we have to build a research station close to it to start the scanning procedure. anti-corrosive floor tiles around it. It would be advised to build our entire base on anti-corrosive floor.
Research lab operational. Acidic yeast scanning in progress. Great. Now we just have to maintain power to the research lab and let it gather the necessary data. My sensors are picking up increased movement around our position. We should prepare to defend the research laboratory. I'm tracking a meteor shower on a collision course with us. Evasive maneuvers, Mr. Riggs. The rock rain is over. That was intense.
We're halfway through analyzing the root of the acidic yeast colony. The data is already looking very promising. Ashley, since you've built up our research station in this area, I've noticed a change in the growth vector of the acidic yeast colonies around us. It appears that all of them are slowly growing in our direction. That's very interesting. It looks like we've been recognized as a threat. The colonies are trying to devour our base.
The sky is getting bluish. This is something you won't see on Earth. The moon has turned blue. Finish gathering data. Objective completed. The data that we've gathered proves that this life form can digest even the smallest traces of palladium. Palladium normally doesn't react with most acids, but this life form uses a highly concentrated form of fluoric acid that is heated up by the creature's metabolic processes. We can program the orbital scanner to analyze the growth patterns of the acidic yeast colonies. This should help us in finding palladium deposits that these colonies are moving towards. acidic yeast growth patterns. Orbital scanning finished. We have found something interesting. There are a few areas within the acidic plains that are entirely surrounded by the yeast colonies. Spectral analysis confirms that palladium should be present there. However, the yeast is actively avoiding these zones.
Interesting. If there's palladium there and they aren't interested in it, then something might be preventing them from growing in that area. We should prepare for the unexpected. There's a solar eclipse coming up soon. Solar panels will be down for its duration.
One of Galatea's moons has blocked the sun completely. The eclipse is over. Solar panels are back online.
I'm detecting an intense ion storm coming our way, due to our recent coronal mass ejection on Galatea's sun. It may disable some of our equipment. This ion storm is really intense. It disabled a lot of equipment. We have to wait it off. Everything is getting back to normal. Thankfully, this didn't last long. Thank <laughs> you. 
Warning! My radar is tracking a meteor swarm. Its flight trajectory ends very close to our location. Prepare for bombardment. These meteors are quite small, but they can still do some serious damage. tracking any more meteors. The danger is over.
detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming up. woman here. That's a bit suspicious, don't you think, Mr. Riggs? Yes, that is abnormal. I'm not detecting any acidic yeast colonies in the area. The local fauna population also seems to be smaller than in the other areas of this biome. I have marked its location on our map. Great. The ones we've been finding so far were really small. Maybe we can find something that we can place an automated mining station on. The palladium deposits that we've been finding here are too small to build a mining station. However, we've learned how to find it. The data gathered with the geoscanner can be fed to the orbital scanner to search for mineable palladium. Our mission here is complete. We can return to headquarters to start preparing to build a palladium mining outpost. Understood, Ashley. I'm starting the orbital scanning procedure and searching for mineable palladium deposits. In the meantime, we... We should research palladium handling technology to be able to actually construct palladium mining stations. Orbital scanning. Finished. We have calculated a favorable location for palladium mining outpost. I am detecting multiple acidic yeast colonies in this area. That's good. Maybe there will be fewer exploding mushrooms in that area. Either way, we should remember to use the geoscanner frequently.
Research completed. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. What's this? The geoscanner detected a hidden cache of explosive fluid underground. This functionality is normally used for detecting minefields. There are exploding mushrooms underground. This must be the reason why the acidic yeast colonies are not present in this area. Let's be careful here. All wind has stopped. Our wind turbines are down. Wind is coming back. Wind power is returning to normal.
Rift jump successful. Orbital scanning was correct. I am detecting multiple rich palladium deposits nearby. Warning. Acidic yeast activity is very high in this area. Okay, let's look for an easily defendable position near a palladium deposit. And remember to build our base on anti-corrosive floor tiles. This biome is not going to give up its resources easily. Once we establish a permanent outpost, we could also try to destroy the roots of the acidic yeast colonies. That should stop them from spreading further. That could adversely change the ecological balance of this biome. Let's treat that option as a last resort.
outpost construction finished. We should construct rare element mines on the palladium deposits near our base and start mining the resource. Rare element mines consume a lot of power. There's a natural abundance of refinable sludge in this biome. We could easily power our base with gas power plants. That is a good idea. Do not forget to secure our outpost with advanced defense towers. Setting up a few short-range radar stations would also be advised. They can monitor the growth of acidic yeast colonies. Danger! Hostile creatures are approaching our base. Get ready for battle!
have mined half of the palladium that we need to finish constructing the hyperparticle condenser for the brick station. I am detecting increased activity amongst the local fauna. The attacks against our outposts are increasing in strength and numbers. We should build up more advanced defensive towers to protect our base. Acidic yeast is also creeping up from all directions. This area is very rich in resources, so we can establish additional mining bases if we need to expand our economy. Detecting a massive swarm of creatures heading towards our outpost. We still have some time to prepare. Strengthen our defenses as much as possible. This attack is going to be very strong. The mining operation must have disturbed a lot of them. We're going to need advanced defense towers to repel these creatures. Also, let's not forget about setting up minefields on the critical paths toward our outpost.
Sense the ground shaking. I estimate a few thousand creatures running at our base. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them.
I'm not detecting any large groups of creatures in the vicinity of our base. Defend it off the attack. We've defended our outposts against hordes of acid-spinning monsters, giant snails, underground death beetles, and all-devouring yeast. I call it a day. Ashley, we have gathered enough palladium to construct the hyperparticle condenser. We should return to HQ to start the construction process. That is an excellent idea. This outpost will remain here as a permanent base of operations. We can even build up more mines and factories here to boost our economy. All of the resources that are produced in this location will be automatically transferred to our HQ, as long as the orbital scanner is operational. Long distance rift travel and resource transportation are not possible without it. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research completed. Research completed. A new technology has been developed. Feel the ground shaking, and my scanners are detecting small eruptions of acidic gases. I think an acidic eruption is coming. are opening up and are erupting with highly corrosive gas. We won't be able to build anything within these clouds.
The eruption is over. Research completed. The ground is shaking. It looks like an earthquake is coming. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. It seems like the earthquake has uncovered something interesting. Let's investigate. Hey, Mr. Riggs, we're lucky today. It's a new resource deposit. 